it's not going to be the old normal because the old normal is impossible in a world where there is no guarantee of what next year may look like largely because of the inequity both in respect of the, um, the distribution of vaccines but also the very real difficulties in the world in which we live. This afternoon in St. Michael, the rain fell now hard, short, sharp, and hard yet again, over and over. This is not the kind of pattern of rainfall that we are accustomed to in this country. This is what I associate with Miami and Jamaica because of the heat. When the chief, pass that phone there for me, please. Oh, no, no. Thank you. When the chief met, officer said this today, the map for yesterday and the temperatures across this country yesterday, I understood that we continue to be right to make the kind of speeches and to do the kind of aggressive argument and advocacy on this issue of climate. Look at this. Up this side of the island yesterday, 32.3 degrees. Little less as you go east in St. Philip, 30.8. In St. Michael, on average, 32 degrees. Center of the island, St. George and St. Thomas, Dwight and St. 31, 32 degrees. When we start to get now to northern St. James and southern St. Peter, 34.4 degrees. You all understand that we're living in a different world. And therefore, when I contextualize all of that, and I recognize that as we move about, the world is not going to be able to have the luxury of meeting the 1.5 degrees to keep people like us safe. And they've already, when Glasgow comes up in two, three weeks' time, you're likely to see the world settle at two to two point four degrees.